Hey everybody, JBR from JBR channel here, and today I'm going to be sharing a secret in the Fire Emblem universe. Being a change to a core mechanic that subtly nerfed a character in Fire Emblem 3 Houses. For those of you who don't know, nerfing means to reduce the power of a character, weapon, etc. in a new installment or update of a video game. Nerfing is usually accomplished through a balance patch issued by the gaming company. Balance patches are downloadable updates that tweak games to achieve better balance. They are most commonly used in competitive games like modern fighting games to balance out the roster of characters, such as making a low tier character better, raising a mediocre character to a top tier, or making an overpowered character worse. These patches are so common nowadays in competitive games that people beg for their favorite characters to get buffs or for other characters to get nerfs to make the game more fair. The strange thing about today's video topic is that this nerf happened in a single player game and it isn't because of a remake, sequel, DLC, or anything related to Fire Emblem Heroes. Instead, recently and quietly in a patch issued in Fire Emblem 3 Houses, there was a nerf towards Dorothea. The version 1.2.0 patch changed the core mechanic very slightly in order to severely nerf a unique niche that Dorothea had. The crazy thing is that there's no mention of this change in the patch notes, so no one really noticed. Well, except me, after doing a ton of research and asking Rangor, who's an expert on all things Three Houses and became well known for his Three Houses 0% growth runs. So, to explain how Dorothea was nerfed without anyone noticing, I have to first explain how a new mechanic added to three houses known as linked attacks work. We talked about this in the History of Supports video, but in previous Fire Emblem games, a pair of characters would receive combat bonuses when within a certain amount of tiles if they had a support. Linked attacks are similar but function differently, in that you receive support combat bonuses only when both units can attack an enemy meaning the unit must be able to hit the enemy from their current position without moving. The bonuses can boost a character's hit, avoid, and might, depending on the pair and their support level. Bonuses can also be stacked with multiple support partners. If a linked attack is possible, you'll be able to tell by looking at the combat forecast, where portraits of the supporting allies show up with numbers highlighted in blue. Linked attacks are a really cool way to implement supports into the gameplay while making the way they activate a bit more strategic. You have to carefully position your units in a way that you can set up another unit to gain those amazing combat bonuses. The most common way to do this is to have a unit with a ranged weapon move to hit an enemy. This is what historically made Dorothea so useful. At A rank she can learn a skill called Meteor, which is a siege tome, a long range tome that can hit from 3 to 10 tiles away. This means Dorothea can support all of her allies from very far away without having to worry about her allies positioning. It's a very useful ability to have, especially in maddening mode where you need all the help you can get on hit rates. Well, that's how it used to be, but the balance patch I referred to earlier changed how linked attacks work for the worse, resulting in the nerfing of Dorothea. Before the patch, linked attacks could generate combat bonuses for a pair of characters without a support as long as they were both in range to be able to attack. This meant a random pair like Edelgard and Sylvain who can't support could still give each other combat bonuses. In the 1.2.0 patch, this functionality was changed so that you can only receive combat bonuses if the units have a potential support. Like we see here with Byleth and Edelgard. Even though they don't have a C support, they can still give combat bonuses. Whereas Sylvain and Edelgard in our previous example no longer gives each other those buffs. The change means that Dorothea, who used to be able to get Meteor pretty early, has lost some of the utility she once had. Dorothea could be recruited to the Blue Lions and Golden Deer, and give everyone a passive 3% hit and avoid chance, as well as a 1 might and 5% gambit hit chance buff from just about anywhere on the map. This made Dorothea an amazing support unit, especially considering she learns Physic, a long range healing spell. This is a nerf that affects Hilda and Hanuman as well, since they also learn siege spells. They get affected but to a different degree. Hilda isn't commonly put into a mage class or support role, so she doesn't get nerfed too bad. Hanuman however takes a pretty hefty nerf from this as well, but not as much as Dorothea, since his supports are more spread out around each house. Now for people who might be skeptical and who might say things like, yes this is a nerf but is it really significant enough to make a video about? 
I mean, it's just 3% hit in the void. Sure, I'll admit it's not an insane nerf, like if they hypothetically made Edelgard's combat art so she no longer gets an extra turn, but it's still a pretty hefty nerf that affects a really cool niche ability for Dorothea. And I say to you, it might be more significant than you might think. Fire Emblem Three Houses uses a random number generator system referred to as Tuarin, which means when rolling for hit chance, the AI rolls two numbers between 1 and 100 and takes the average of the two. As long as your hit chance is higher than the number rolled, you will hit your attack. For example, say we had a 50% hit chance with a gambit. By implementing Dorothea's passive buff, our hit chance jumps up to 55%. Now if we keep in mind that the game has 2 RN, this means that in all actuality, our odds of hitting go up from 50% all the way to 60. In a game series where just one little number can be the difference between a unit dying and a unit living, I'd sure as hell love to have just a 5% better chance to secure victory. Now, I'm sure linked attacks giving bonuses to non-supporting allies wasn't intended, and that's probably why it was removed, but I wish that they would have just left this functionality in the game, since it's not some game-breaking exploit, and was just a cool niche for these three characters to have. I hope you've enjoyed this story of how Fire Emblem Three Houses created a balance patch that genuinely nerfed Dorothea as well as Hanuman and Hilda. I was fascinated to uncover this hidden and uncommunicated secret in the Fire Emblem series. If you enjoyed, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button, it really does help out the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy some of my other previous scripted videos, such as when we pondered could you beat every single Fire Emblem game in 24 hours. It was a really cool and interesting video and a ton of people loved it, so I know you will too if you haven't checked it out yet. But until next time, I've been JBR from JBR Channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!